obviously after the heartbreaker uh, this weekend could have gone either way. Real proud of this group. Um, we, we prepared well yesterday after the day off. Came out and played great baseball. Great pitching, great defense. Uh, a lot of young pitchers tonight too. So that, that's good to see for now, but also again for the future. How important was it to beat North Carolina after what's happened the last three years? Well, I, I, truthfully, I could care less who the opponent is. We just, every game we play, we need to win. We, we want to win. So yeah. the opponent at this point, it, it's about us. It's about us. What was practice like yesterday you mentioned? Did you kind of get a sense that they kind of put that Florida series behind them a little bit? Well, yesterday was a light practice. Um, Scholar was with the pitchers a little bit. Uh, Coach Current, Coach Lake uh, were with uh, the hitters, uh, mm -hmm. just in small groups. Um, and it wasn't anything, anything special. It was just a uh, recharge of batteries, but try to be sharp uh, for tonight. Uh, we actually didn't even do defense yesterday, and, and our defense was outstanding tonight. So again, I still think the story of the night was our young pitching, being, uh, pitching really, really well tonight. Easy to hang the head after the kind of loss you had on Saturday. Who among your players won't let that happen? You know, I think this, you've got to look to the seniors, and there's very little experience on this team. You know, so you look to TJ, you look to Olsen, you look to the Collins. Um, those are really the only guys we have that have been through this. So those are the guys you look to at this point. Um, but I, I think it was a group effort. Uh, the bus was very quiet on the way home uh, the other night from Gainesville. But it wasn't a, it wasn't a feel sorry for yourself. It was a, hey, that, that really stunk how that ended. Let's get back to work uh, at, at, the, at the beginning of next week. Is this the best you've seen Dylan pitch? This yeah, season. without question. You know, I thought Gilreath was really good. I thought you know, Lloyd pitched out of some jams early on, um, but he passed the baton, and, and once the, those guys came in after him, they, they all threw really, really well. What was the difference for him? Was it just throwing strikes? I mean, at the end of the day, it's, sometimes it's simple. You throw strikes. You throw more strikes with, with more pitches, you have a chance to get them out. When your fastball is 89 to 92 like it was tonight, and you throw your slider for strikes, and, and mix in some occasional change-ups, you have a chance. And, uh, he, he did that tonight. Charlotte's been so good to you so far this season. I mean, just you, the heels get them tonight and get stayed earlier in the season. What can the team learn from these two victories here at BBT? Well, I think it shows how strong the SEC is, truthfully. The SEC has been a bear for us this year, and we've been pretty successful outside of the SEC. So uh, if nothing else, I think it speaks to how strong the SEC is. You may have been asked this already. I apologize. Y'all's best game all around this year? It's hard to say if it's our best. Sunday against Clemson was pretty good. Um, but in terms of, of our pitching, our young pitching really stepping up, our defense was flawless tonight. Um, and we, we hit for power, but we also manufactured some stuff on the bases too. So it was definitely a complete win tonight. I don't know if it was our best, but it definitely was the kind of baseball game we need to play. What do you want to see taken from this carried over to Thursday night? Just, we want to win. I mean, bottom line, we want to play good baseball and win. We're another great team coming in, two of the best left-handed pitchers in the country uh, that we'll face on Thursday and Friday. So it doesn't get any easier, but it, it, at least it shows these kids if you do play baseball the right way, you have a chance to win. So we need good pitching. We need our pitching to, to be as good as, as they were tonight. And then our hitters need to be opportunistic and our defense needs to be airtight. You mentioned the seniors holding people accountable. TJ, two RBIs tonight, and after the home run gets hit for UNC, he comes back with one of his own. How big was that moment? I thought that bounce back run was really important because baseball at this level can become very momentum based. And uh, when you get up 4 nothing, and then the other team hits a big two run homer, it can start to feel a little bit like, oh boy, here we go again. And TJ getting that run back on the board for us, I thought was very, very important. You mentioned Gil Reith earlier, but I think he's only given up two hits in his last five innings, three innings. Just what have you seen from him lately that's kind of given you more confidence in him? Well, the fastball is starting to get in that upper 80s range again, where for most of his career, uh, it's been in that 84, 85 range. So we're starting to see the stuff start to play up again, which is important. And he's throwing strikes. Again, these guys, at, at our level, we're going to recruit the kind of guys that have enough stuff. So if you throw strikes with that stuff, you have a chance. And, and he's giving himself a chance, finally. I'm not sure if he had a hit tonight or not, but it seems like George has really stepped his game up since he's moved into that two hole. How yeah, have you seen him develop? Yeah, George did have a hit tonight. He had that two strike uh, right. bloop uh, against the shift there early on. Uh, he's he's one of our most improved players. I think he's solidified our defense there. He plays. He makes all the routine plays, but he also makes some big time uh, big time plays as well. And he, he gives you a quality bat in the two hole. So he, he's he's as improved as any player we have this year.
Just looking ahead, will you make two more appearances here next year? Do you know? For your I would guess so. I don't see why not. Uh, based on the competition we get to play, based on the financial reasons, uh, and it's a great place to come play. It's We love playing here. It's good crowds. It's a tremendous uh, city backdrop. Uh, we get great support here. The fans are great. It's a great stadium there. I see no reason why we wouldn't want to continue this. State and Tar Heels, we'll do it again with them? I'd love it. I'd love to, yeah. Are you all signed to play North Carolina? I don't know. I'd have, you know that that's above my pay grade. All those contracts and that. That's, but you know, I'll, if I have a vote, I'll, I'll say I don't know why we wouldn't continue this. What, what brings the benefit of playing playing these guys specifically? Well, I think you get the biggest crowds when it's South Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina. Arguably, is the most popular team in this state, um, and so you're going to get good crowds. Uh, it's great baseball. It's the ACC's best versus you know one of the best in the SEC. So I just think it's a great event, and people like good events. Does it mean anything to you personally? No, truthfully, it doesn't. I mean, we, I just want to win the next game. That was so long ago. I know, I know my degree <laughs> says that, but uh, I've been associated with now some really great schools over my career, and uh, I feel loyal to all of them. Uh, tonight was truthfully just a game that I wanted the Gamecocks to win.